Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Unliving Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. Before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone. So we all know a few months ago, Chloe did go on Instagram Live to tease a few songs that she wanted to release, but she wanted her fans to pick. And one of those songs happened to be for the night. Now, she did recently release that song and it did chart at number 25 on the Billboard Top 100 and it was bubbling under. Now, she did release the song with Lotto and I feel like she tried to add Lotto to the song in order to boost the streams. And I feel like she wanted Lotto just to be there as a female rapper and just to make the song more appealing to different audiences. Now, I feel like she did drop the ball with adding Lotto and I'm not the only one who felt that way. The song is okay for the night. Seems like a more summer type song, not a fall winter song, but overall it's still one of Chloe's better songs. Lotto's verse was okay. I don't really feel like it was needed. It really didn't take away from the song, but it really could have been left without. And a lot of people have been saying that they want Chloe to release a version without having Lotto on there. Now Lotto's verse wasn't bad as I said before, but it really didn't bring much and it was very short. And it was like, okay, Lotto, you just came and got on the song for a check. You wasn't really sticking to the subject matter at hand and you talk about the same things over and over and it sounds like a recycled verse. But was it horrible? Not necessarily. Could have been better? Yes. I even feel like the music video could have been better with her other songs like Treat Me and Have Mercy. There's a budget there. You can see there was some money put behind it. However, with this song for the night, it just seems like they were taking footage of her performances and using behind the scenes footage that they haven't used before in order to have fuller scenes within the video. Now, Chloe Bailey did say that Beyonce told her to release Surprise and Have Mercy before she released for the night, which I feel like Beyonce, you're her mentor and all, and she signed to you. But girl, I feel like you know what you was doing. Renaissance was coming out. You didn't want your mentee all up in a way. So you told her to release Surprise, which was a decent song. But I do feel like she should have released For the Night and the Summer. Don't get me wrong. Chloe Bailey has good songs. I just feel like sometimes she doesn't pick the best songs to release in order. She does have some good records but they are kind of bubblegum empire type songs as well. I want Chloe to get more soulful with her songs. And this song for the night, it was all right, but the whole promotion and the rollout of this song was messy. Even her saying that she wrote this song for Gunna and he's been locked up. She hasn't said free Gunna not one time, but yet you said you made this song for him? Girl, bye. But you let me know how you feel about everything down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video. And until next time, bye.